Hello, I'm Hal Lublin. And I'm Mark Gagliardi. Since the dawn of humanity, one issue has gone unsettled. With the fate of the world in the balance, we're here to settle once and for all. Worst font. That's right. Don't worry, everyone. We got this. Podcasts should have a theme song. Podcasts should not have a theme song. Yes, they should. No, they shouldn't. They sound good. Yeah, but people are just going to skip past it. Hmm. You know what? You're right. We got this. Worst font. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kristen Kelly. Hi, Kristen. Good morning. For this topic. Good morning. It's uh, it's very early, Hal. You were you're up. here at uh at my home. You're on your way into the city. <laughs> my to, day in the big city. Your, your day in the big city. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of shopping bags and hat boxes. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get into a car that some gentleman will open the door for. Ooh. Me. And then somehow there'll be burglars chasing you all mm-hmm. day. Yeah. But you'll keep thwarting them, Mr. Magoo style. Well, they're easy to see because they're wearing those black and white striped shirts, <laughs> the mask, and the Jeff cap. Oh man, I would love, look, I'm not a person that commits a lot of crimes. Um, but at some point, if I ever do have to burgle anything, hopefully to get my own stuff back from sure. somewhere that it's not supposed to be. Just a loaf of I don't bread. want to steal other, yeah. I stole a loaf of bread. <laughs> but if I ever do have to burgle anything, mm-hmm. I really want to dress like the hamburglar like that when I do it. That oh, so style. you want like the flat, the, I don't even need the, fl- I, I'm just thinking the stripes. I realized as I said, the hamburglar that that's more specific than just that classic burglar look. Like the, uh, the guys at the beginning of Christmas story. Sure. The, the greatest or second greatest Christmas right, movie. Where he's shooting the, uh, how dare you? He's shooting all these imaginary yeah. the Red Ryder BB gun. Yeah, exactly. Black, the, Black, Black Bart. I think the hamburger is even better because you get a cape. Oh, that's true. You get a cape. You do get that big flat Zorro hat. And if the police bring you in for questioning, all you say is robble, robble. They're not going to get anything off yeah. of that. Yeah. This guy won't break. <laughs> I do love that. I never really connected that the hamburger is just half burglar, half Zorro. Yeah. All right. He's hamburger Zorro. Yeah. Hamburger Zorro. Did he have a sword? Did he do like a burger logo on, on, uh, walls and stuff? No. No, he, he had like a Banksy stencil and he would just spray paint. <laughs> that would be great. How could somebody, hey, Banksy, I'm sure you listen to the show. Go do a series of hamburgers and then robble, robble and then just the mask and hat. Oh. Like a stencil of that and put it everywhere. Like who put right. this on the side of the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> And you know the graphic novel version is just going to be like a sort of gritty looking splatter of that yeah. uh, of that stencil that Frank Miller does. <laughs> uh, Something's wrong in McDonald Land. <laughs> He's leaving his mark everywhere. Uh, you know what McDonald's has is a beautiful font for that M on the sign. Yeah, it works. It and works speaking well, of yeah. fonts, yes, how was that? Better, right. better than, uh, but we're not here to talk about that. Are you trying out new? I'm not, I'm not trying out new segues necessarily. Right. I just, uh, things that I've said a million times before, I, I never intended to be signature things. Sure. But so we are, we are our catchphrases, right? I guess that's sort of what we, my catchphrases, so my catchphrases. I'm not here to talk about this. <laughs> I'm here to not do two things. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm not doing either of them. That's right. So let's, but we're not here to do these two things. That's right. We're here to do this third thing. <laughs> that was a good, no, it was a good positive segue. Yeah. I appreciate your. Well, we're not here to talk about positive segues. You're right. We're here to talk about terrible fonts. Yes. Um, do you have a terrible font that you're going, because here's the thing. Uh, Kristen Kelly, was it that sent yes. this? Kristen wrote, or did you write this in our Google doc? Worst font parentheses. There's only one correct answer. I think maybe I added it, but it's possible that she did. Because I think there is one font that is generally regarded as the worst. Yes. By our friends and, uh, and the, our friends' friends. And it's sort of like zeitgeist worst font. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I don't think it's the one. I don't think that's the worst font. You're talking about Comic Sans. I am talking about Comic Sans. Well, it, that's a tough, that's a tough one too. We can, so let's just dive right in. Yeah, I would say before we even throw anything out, mm-hmm. I'm curious what what would make something the worst. C- certainly, it has to be visually displeasing. Yes, it has to be unpleasant to look at. Overuse, overuse is one, and also I think there's a there's a sense that you get from it that's sort of a combination of these two, where when you see this font, 
you think it's it's either a placeholder mm-hmm. or it's just someone who doesn't know anything about fonts at all. Like right. there's just something that feels first draft about it when you see it. Right. It's, about Comic Sans in particular. Comic Sans. But the one, yeah. Uh, and, a, and a few of the others that I'm sure we'll discuss. Part of what's frustrating about seeing them, especially on official signage or even like a bat, like be a sweetie and wipe the CD type stuff. <laughs> Is that they're either – like sometimes the font is trying too hard, right? Yeah. To be self-important or to be cute. I always heard, by the way, please be sweet and wipe the seat. Oh, you haven't seen the be a sweetie and wipe the seat? I think I've, I've seen that one before, but the the one that was more I, – I was I, – I remember thinking as a kid, like, be a sweetie and wipe the seat. Nobody calls it a seat. And then I saw the please be neat and wipe the seat. And I was like, see – <laughs> Take that, people who wrote the sweetie version of this. But it makes sense that uh, Sweetie CD feels like a first draft poem. Yeah. So to have it appear, like you don't see stuff like that in Arial mm-hmm. font. No. <laughs> you don't. You don't see because nobody's like, I'm gonna. I want to make this look professional. They're like, let's. Uh, yeah. It's almost make like, it cute. It's almost like an a hole font, like some of the worst ones because they're like. I'm going to tell you something that is really annoying to you, but I'm going to be cute about it so that you go, oh, you. All right. So let's – I like the, the way that you mentioned that. Let's divide this up uh, a little bit into cute fonts and a-hole fonts. Okay. <laughs> but the cute fonts are also a-hole fonts, right? Um, well, I guess – I mean, no. See, that's the thing. I don't hate the cute fonts because I never mind earnestness. Mm-hmm. I never mind when something is done happily. Okay. Like, you know what? Grandma, grandma's having a bake sale. Let her use Comic Sans. Okay. Yeah. That, that is, but it might be where you see it most often, like curls. Curls, curls MT can go right to hell. But you can see that in, uh, it's so interesting to be doing a podcast that's striking me now about things that, that you is can only completely look at. visual. You so everybody, please, I hope, uh, while you are driving, you have a uh, you have a piece of paper with all of the fonts printed on it right in front of you. Just put it on the on the windshield. Yeah, because that's safer. You need both your hands to yeah. drive. The thing is, though, I don't think that this is necessarily. <laughs> I don't think that this is necessarily a uh, a visual episode. Okay, because some of these are onomatopoetic. Okay, what do you think is the most onomatopoetic font name? Mm. I have mine that just popped into my head. I think it's, I think it's, well. I mean, curls empty with a Z. Curls with a Z is pretty is onomatopoetic it, it of Z? what the, it is with a Z, oh, of what the font actually Maybe is. That's the worst one. It's pretty bad. The fact that it has a Z. Uh, it's just trying to, it's cute on top of cute. Yeah. The one that I think that has the Z that is among the worst fonts of all time. Yeah. Because it is, its size is so dramatically different than everything else is. Zapfino! <laughs> Do you know Zapfino? I don't know Zapfino. Zapfino is, uh, I think it's on a lot of, uh, Apple, uh, products. Like I use, uh, uh Apple Pages for my word processing mm-hmm. and it's in that. And it's in a few, like, uh, I guess cause it's built into my system. It's just already in there. But Zapfino is, <laughs> it looks like, it looks like, uh, it's the font of the porn parody of a Zorro movie. <laughs> It's just big and flashy and not very good, but all of the capital letters are handwritten-ish and five times the size of the rest of the letters, of the lowercase letters in this alphabet. So regardless of how much space you have, you can only do one word in Zapfino. I think that you're not designed to write paragraphs in Zapfino. They would have to be on the side of the Colossus of Rhodes to get one sentence out. Um, but you've got, uh, if you just have one word that you're going to do in Zapfino, all right, I understand it. It's, it's not a terrible looking font. It's just the world's most annoying font to me. Uh, I don't know if this is onomatopoeic. I don't think it is. Wingdings? Is it not? Wing, I just don't know that wing, wingdings are a mystery to me. I would always choose it by mistake. I don't know what I was looking for. And then I would start typing and think I was having a stroke as a child. <laughs> Because all of a yeah. sudden there are I tried no- to write my name and I just wrote three peace signs and uh and mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you how? Um when I was thinking about this episode, uh the first two things that popped into my head when I read what Kristen wrote, or if what you wrote, yes. there is only one correct answer. My first thought was, man, 
everybody thinks it's Comic Sans. Yeah. Screw that. Wingdings is way worse. <laughs> I think Wingdings will be, I think Wingdings is going to be the font to beat. And really? it's, and it's in that cutesy category. When have you ever used Wingdings? But that's the, that's, but that's maybe what counts against it. It's the most useless, but we don't, you don't see it on that. That makes it worse. I mean, that makes it the worst font. Like a font has one job. Tell me words. I don't, you know, I, I think you're looking too far into form over function. I think, I think Wingdings is. I, I think it's, uh, how about this? Can mm-hmm. it be in like the Hall of Fame where it's a legendarily bad idea that nobody really uses? So that makes it a terrible. I don't want to discount, I don't want to discount it that. I don't want to discount it that early yet. I want to push it through to the finals and have a conversation about this at the end. We will continue this, Hal. All right. Fair enough. You, if you want to put it in the final, I understand you're putting it in the finals. It is a garbage, useless font. Yeah. That has and- been like – whoever – did anyone ever memorize – and you had to memorize – Two different weird codes because there was the code for the lowercase letters and the code for the capital letters. I have no idea what its functional use is. I'm I, sure somebody out there will will know. But to me, the second clip art became popular, Wingdings became useless. This, Yeah. W- Wingdings was useless, I think, long before clip art became popular. Yeah. I'd like to know the history of Wingdings. It's too bad we didn't know we were doing this episode and couldn't look anything up. Well, that'll be our companion podcast, Wingdings and Things. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Delve into the history of Wingdings. Uh, and we can talk about it, much like we did our episode on uh, aisle or window on an airplane. Mm-hmm. Then we could do Wingdings and Things on Wings. Ooh, wait. And then we do a musical episode? Wingdings and things on wings sings. And then we have collectible jewelry so you can get wingdings and things on wings sings rings. (laughs) (sighs) And hey, get our new water, which comes from wingdings and things on wings, (laughs) springs, rings, springs. Since. And and that's when I never saw Hal again. He just Thanks. Hal just disappeared into a vortex. Yeah. Everybody, I just collapsed on myself <laughs> like a star. Yeah, he just he just. It, it, I've never seen that much puckering that fast. <laughs> Shink. Well, you haven't seen that Vanished. Zorro parody you were talking about. <laughs> so let's talk about fonts that we actually do see um, out in the world. We, well, have we? I, you know what? Can we make that category three? There are if there are cute fonts, a hole fonts, mm. and real world fonts. Oh, what would a real world font? Be? I would say like Arial is a garbage real world font because it's I like just Arial. Arial is just the version of Helvetica because Apple didn't have uh, rights to Helvetica, so they just made a fake version of Helvetica. I don't know. It's not. It doesn't bother me. That See, much. it didn't bother me before I knew that. It oh, bothered, now, it now it does. It didn't bother me before. I was like, because I was always like, why doesn't my Mac have Helvetica? Well, it's got Arial. That's close enough. And then I found out that they, Mac just didn't want to pay for Helvetica. So they just invented one. And I was like, no, screw that. That's just piracy. <laughs> it does. I mean, it looks okay. It's just. So your, your problem with it is, is that you know it's dark secret. Is exactly. I don't think that's enough to propel it anywhere near a finals for this. No, no, I don't. I don't. You, your complaint has been noted and registered. Yeah, I think Arial is not a. Uh, I think it's just a. It's a. It's not a bad font. It's fine. a hacky font. It's fine. What about Times New Roman? Times New Roman. I. Oh, so we're moving on now to the. Tired. I'm that's trying to. I'm just trying font. to keep the blocks in let's, my head. Let's keep talking about real world. We'll go to real world. Then we'll come back to cute, and then we'll hit yeah. the a hole. The real a hole fonts like papyrus. Times New Roman. Times New Roman is fine to me. I don't know why people because it seems I, I'm reading online that it is is loathed, but like Times New Roman for me was the the only acceptable uh, the only acceptable font for maybe this was just me. The only acceptable font for writing papers. Yes, all my papers. I was going to say that that exact same thing. Every paper I ever wrote was in... And every time I saw someone come into class with a paper that was written in Helvetica font, I was like, I'd look at it and I'd be like, what? Were you trying to get a B? What? What is the... You don't want an A? What was your best Times New Roman paper that you ever wrote? Or what was your best... Do you have a like, my, favorite paper you wrote from high school or college? Um, think of... Yeah, I <laughs> I once wrote a paper on environmentalism. Okay. And I put too many of my own ideas in it according to the teacher of this class. He was a real jerk. I didn't like this teacher. Mm-hmm. Uh that I did not cite enough things 
uh, I did not cite enough of the, the book. I was actually, you know me, I'm mouthy and I have opinions. I sure. didn't do enough book citing and I went off on my own. Did it start with, if I may? Yeah. <laughs> do I say that a lot? That's fair. So the next assignment I wrote, I was like, all right, you want, you want verbatim, like you want actual quotes. Uh, I took a Rachel Carson book and an Ayn Rand book and I pulled quotes from them. Uh, I wrote a sketch that was a, uh, like a Thunderdome death match on stage and it was all done in a uh, point counterpoint of Ayn Rand and Rachel Carson. And I worked my butt off on that paper and it was funny in parts and it was, uh, astute in parts and I got a zero on it. Ooh. Because the teacher was like, well, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean just use quotes. I'm giving you zero for plagiarism. Yeah. So I know we don't swear on this show, but f- that teacher. Yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> Ugh. I, we have teachers who listen to the show yeah. who I assume are all very good teachers. Yeah. If you're listening to the show, you are already a good teacher. Sometimes I think very good teachers can inspire us to become teachers, but sometimes a poor teacher might do the same to go, like, I want children to have the freedom and, you know, to be able to evolve their thinking. Because that's an evolved way of presenting somebody else's material to make an argument, even if it's not the assignment, to mm-hmm. just recognize that. Uh, mine, which I think maybe I got to a B minus, uh-huh. was a history paper I wrote in high school about, I was like, look at, I was not very interested in being a student in high school at all. I just wanted to perform. That's all I wanted. So I wrote a paper about historical, what is it? <laughs> representations of the old West in film. So I took, just so you could watch a bunch of cowboy movies. Yeah. I watched <laughs> Gunfight at the OK Corral and Tombstone. Okay. Oh, and then okay. Compared both of them to see which was more like, so I, I that's a legit this is a cool paper like, let's look through history yeah. and then let's take this as the prime example of of which version is more accurate and mm-hmm. even the more accurate version is not entirely accurate right and that was it and it, but it was like did you do it in it times new better. roman i'm pitching it better i did it in wingdings that's why i got an f <laughs> initially but i was like oh so how in yeah when it's when it says mailbox mailbox check mark Gah, wingdings. <laughs> but it was Times New Roman, yes. Yeah. Everything Times New Roman. Everything was Times New Roman. Yeah, I have no problem with it. I enjoy Times New Roman. Yeah. I don't think a real world font is going to win. No. Helvetica's doing? great. Helvetica's, uh, Helvetica's yeah. the the official uh, Americana font. Yep. Courier New is the is the font of scripts. Mm-hmm. Courier New I like because everything is the same size. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're fixed width letters, which means if you're looking at like guitar music, like a lot of times I would look at guitar tabs, mm-hmm. it'll always be in courier because it's fixed width. So you can always place specifically where the chord letters are above a line. Yeah. 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 hundred percent. Um, are you a, are you a side note? Are you a serif fan? Which now tell me what a serif is again. Serif is the little, uh, on the end of like a line in a letter. It's just that little. Line of the letter. Yeah, it's like it's like imagine imagine a capital A. Okay. Um, oh, it has a little swoosh on. Imagine it? a capital. Imagine a, a capital A. Uh-huh. Now imagine a capital A uh, with the little line across the bottom and the little lines on the bottoms of the legs, like the rating system for movies. Oh yeah, I see what you're talking about. Those th- I I don't mm-hmm. I don't hate a serif. I like them. They make I think they make a font look a little classier. But you can go overboard. Yo, sure. Like when you do when you put a hat. On uh on an A, as opposed to like it's okay if it's wearing shoes, but the hat seems like too much because it makes me think of it makes me think of like collegiate fonts. I love reason. collegiate font. You like collegiate font? That like that big? I think it's called Varsity. Yeah, which is big, blocky, and oh, that's like the yeah, that's like the letters. Yeah, but I mean, just like I don't know, there's something collegey about that. I don't mm-hmm. know why. Oh, because it looks yeah. like an old book. Dido is another one of my favorite old timey looking font. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, singers. Love uh, old timey looking fonts from like the late 18th century. It's just, I like that. There's something cool, I think. Like, I like, I love old books. So I like old book printing styles. You know what I mean? Like, right. something that looks like it was done on a Gutenberg press. Uh, yes. I really, I really like. Yeah, I don't think any of the regular, everyday, daily use fonts, except maybe Futura. Futura is trying a little hard. <laughs> uh, are, uh, are going to win. No. I think it's going to be one of these fonts that you got to scroll down a little bit in the phone or scroll down a little bit in Microsoft Word 
to get to like the real kooky stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I'll give you a oh, shout out to my all time favorite kind of a cross between a multi-purpose font and a specialty font. Okay. Cooper Black, baby. I'm Cooper, Cooper Black all the way. Black. That's the font of the, uh, the cover of the old Garfield books. Yeah. Right? Sure. And National Lampoon used Cooper Black. But I wouldn't want that in a sign. Oh, it's been my uh, headshot like, and hey, resume spray font. Spray when you dump. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? That's the other one. Spray when you dump? Yeah. Is your favorite sign? Not my favorite. I mean, I wouldn't want it on that sign. Right. Where? It's not my favorite sign. Where does that sign? Where do you see that sign? Probably in the same bathroom with this seat and neat. Like, they've given up on anything cutesy. They're just like, hey, if you dump, spray. Oh. You can't stink in here. I'm not thinking about the, like, the pump spray for smelling. I'm thinking of, like, a power washer. And I was like, what? In what situation? I need you to take a bilge pump to your toilet. <laughs> take it on too much. Oh, God. There's just tiny person bailing out water in the tank yeah. of my toilet. Help me. All right. So let's look at some of these other ridiculous garbage, garbage fonts. Sure. Zapfino, garbage font. Uh-huh. Papyrus. Let's talk about papyrus. It's so bad. It looks like it's first. It's used in what Avatar? Is that where it's most? And that was well, yeah. Well, Avat- it was famous before that. That's what's weird. I mean, it was used before that, but that, that it was sort of- it was annoyingly ubiquitous before Avatar w- just used it. Yeah. It- and I did you see that SNL sketch? Yes. I never made the connection until the I watched that. Papyrus. And it's yeah. Avatar is just papyrus. It's great, but yeah, it's it's trying to look new agey. You yeah. know what it was? It was the font of the store in the mall growing up. That had the rack of CDs where you'd push the button and it would play that CD for you, but it was always like uh, cool ocean tones. Yeah. And you're like, all right, uh, all right. I'll stand here in this. I don't have I don't have crap to do while my mom is over here buying rocks. I'll put on the headphones and I guess listen to pan flute for a little while. Forest Serenity. <laughs> Yeah, all of the names of those CDs also sound like uh, flavors of bounty paper towel. Bon Jovi, slippery when wet. <laughs> oh, how'd this CD get in there? Put it on, you just hear water dribbling, <laughs> and and John Bon Jovi going, "Be careful, it's slippery." <laughs> careful. How? How? We're a we're a stay awake podcast, not an ASMR podcast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Leave that to sleep with me. That's it's right. The greatest of sleeping podcasts. Bleeding Cowboys is another stupid one. Yeah. Bleeding- That's another one that gets, I'm not going to lie. I did a TV show where that was the official like logo font. And I was like, Coyote Ugly, the television show. <laughs> Close. It was the men's room comedy oh, from yeah. a guy's perspective. Finally, white men have their say <laughs> in comedy. Oh. What new things will they talk about? It was about? really fun. Shut up. It was a really fun show. It was a terrible, terrible premise. Were for there a any show. sketches about how women be shopping? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so, it was so much that a women be shopping sketch. We pray for that kind of wokeness on that show. <laughs> um, yeah. What other, what other fonts do we have that are, uh, before we, before we get into the big debate of, uh, before we get into the big debate of, is it wingdings or comic sans? Um, there's uh, there's all those fonts designed to look like they're from different eras yeah. are real hit or miss for me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like bell bottom, the 60s font. You're like, come on, guys. What about Joker Man? Joker Man's Joker Man. terrible. You can see right here. The, oh, the, Joker the, Man. It's the one that looks like. It An looks early like, 90s Mexican restaurant's menu. It looks like that. It also looks like a ska band's right. like, logo. Every letter looks like a pinata. Yeah. And it, yeah, they've all got a oh. lot going on. Oh, Joker Man is so, it's so bad. ITC Matisse right there where it just makes the words illegible. Ugh. Like they're trying to be cartoonists. Tr- like it doesn't need to be a cartoon, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think that that should be something that is codified and mass produced. You want to make something cartoony? Draw something cartoony. Or use Comic Sans, like right here with the words, I'm sorry. Man, I don't hate Comic just, Sans. I think Comic Sans and, uh, why don't you hate Comic Sans? It's so because bad. Because I think it is bad, but I think that, I think hating Comic Sans brings out a uh, an unpleasant cynicism in people because i generally think of it as 
the font that's like, man, like, yeah, the church is having a yard sale. Let them have a yard sale. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, I don't think anyone still uses it earnestly. Let me put it this way. What? You're okay with it on a church sign. What if the same sign is sent to you in an email and that's the text? Oh, people who use it. Yeah. In, I don't, first of all, don't you dare, don't you dare start messing with the font and the color and the size of the email, uh-huh. of an email's, you stay with default because if your computer sends it at default, my computer receives it at default. Mm-hmm. If you start messing with stuff, then I'm going to start, I'm going to start receiving weird stuff. Yes. I've not, I may have received an email in Comic Sans in like 95 and not since. Sometimes people send it, you know, it's very, it's a very grandma, grandpa thing to do, right? Mm-hmm. And it's the same people who might make the sign. Yeah. I mean, maybe they're, I'm sure they're looking for something fun. Mm hmm. But it just looks, it, it's, this it's, looks like The Simpsons. I'll use this one. It's displeasing. Yeah. It's the intent is, is almost negligible for how, see, to me, the intent, how, the intent, I just feel like it's the font that is used by well meaning people who don't know better. Look, a lot of these are, any of these could be, papyrus could be too. Like, I want something that looks kind of mystic because we're having a, a, a night in Agrabah dinner. It's Aladdin themed. <laughs> so we're going to use this font. A night in Agrabah It's a fundraiser dinner. for the Elks Club. Some oh, of us God. might wear veils. Who knows? <laughs> we'll get crazy with it. Yeah. Which is, I guess that doesn't bother me either. Basically, I just hate wingdings. It's the look. I, to me, it's the intent is part of it. It's the passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. And I think Comic Sans can be used passive aggressively. I also, it really bothers me for whatever reason when it's used to promote a comedy show. Yeah. And they're like, hilarious show. They're like, well, let's use the fun. They, they should be laughing just reading this sign. I feel like that is the, that is the use of Comic Sans that I'm like, nope. Yeah. Because it has the word comic <laughs> mm-hmm. in it. And you think, I'm going to use this for my stand up comic showcase. Clearly, this is the one for comics. Yeah, that bothers me because that says, hey, come to this show. Come to this comedy show done by amateurs. Yes. Yeah. It's so But bad. I, but it, for the most part, I feel like, you know, who's going to send me something in Comic Sans? My cousin Dolly, who's my godmother and an, and an octogenarian nun who sends me emails now uh-huh. that are things like, I found a bunny in the garden and they are the joy of my life that I am on a nun email thread. <laughs> like that's what I think Comic Sans is. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas Wingdings, I think, is a pointless code made for absolutely no one that someone at Microsoft thought would be interesting for five minutes before emojis and graphic user interfaces happened. Yeah. What you? Oh boy. I lost you for a second, and you're just you. Oh, you got I'm buried looking, in your phone. You know what? Are you but, looking at terrible fonts? I'm gonna no. I'm, you did this. You did the. You did the thing that you do sometimes, where while I was talking, you were just going, uh huh, uh huh, and looking at your phone. Listen, you think you have it bad? <laughs> Try being married to me. Uh, <laughs> let's take a brief break. Uh huh. <laughs> we'll be right back. Uh huh. Because I think uh, I think what I have here oh, is no. like the 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 last minute. Like oh! the person who walks in with the piece of evidence and then the defendant or prosecutor is like, they wave him over to the stand and then, and then we have our answer. Is this a, a thing against I, Comic Sans? Or are you, do you feel comfortable saying that the final three of the worst fonts should be Papyrus, Comic Sans, and Wingdings? Mm. Comic, to not have Comic No, Sans there's one I want to throw out. There's another right, one that we one haven't talked there. about. What's that? Cause we, cause I was saving it from when we talked about A-hole fonts. Oh, well then let's do A-hole fonts after the break. Okay. And then we'll have a font, we'll have our four finalists. Okay. And then I'll have a letter of some evidence that I think may push things in a direction that nobody was expecting. Okay. We'll be back. Well, Alexis, we got big news. Uh oh. Season one, done. It's over. Season two, Coming at you hot three years after. <laughs> three right season three one. Now. Technically right. almost four years. All right. And now, listen, here at Can I Pet Your Dog, the yes. Snapchat podcast, our seasons run for three and a half years. <laughs> and then in season two, we come at you with new hot co-hosts named you. Hi, I'm Alexis. <laughs> and I also am. Uh, feel 
Donald Trump. Dog tech? Yeah. Dog news. Dog news. Celebrity guests. Oh, big shots. Will not let them talk about their resume. Nope. Only yeah, the dogs. Only the dogs. I mean, if ever you were going to get into Can I Pet Your Dog, now's the time. Get in here every Tuesday at MaximumFun.org. Hello, this is Amy Mann. And I'm Ted Leo. And we have a podcast called The Art of Process. We've been lucky enough over the past year to talk to some of our friends and acquaintances from across the creative spectrum to find out how they actually work. And so I have to write material that makes sense and makes people laugh. I also have to think about what I'm saying to people. If I kick your ass, I'll make you famous. The fight to get LGBTQ representation in the show. Mm-hmm. We weirdly don't know as many musicians as you would expect. I really just became a political speechwriter by accident, of realizing that I have accidentally uh, pulled my pants down. <laughs> Listen and subscribe at MaximumFun.org or wherever you get your podcast. It's like if the guinea pig was complicit in helping the scientist. I'm so excited to see what this evidence that you have that got you so that that sent you so far away from me for a few so a few away. brief seconds. So um, but before we get there, we've got to talk about a hole fonts. Yes, and I think there are a couple a hole fonts that jump to the top of the list for okay. me as like ugh, no thanks. All right, one, and I'm guilty of using this because. I've made a lot of comedy show flyers. I've made a lot of posters for things. Impact. Impact. Impact is the font of, and, and it wasn't, I didn't used to hate impact. Okay. Impact is the font of memes. It's that blocky, oh, tall, yeah. solid, thick. Yeah. Font. And when you put a white border around it, it becomes, right. That's when it becomes. Or when you put, you put it in white with a black border around it. Yes. Yes. Sorry about that. You don't even always need the black border. It is just. Even in white over something. Yeah. It just, it's become so everywhere. It, like, this is a real contender to me for. Like, just because you know that it's the, you, just because you know that the font is impact and you know how to layer text on top of an image does not mean that what words you chose to put over what picture are automatically funny, but the yes. world will share it like it is because we've been trained. That's- oh, this font on a picture means funny. Yeah. It's visual shorthand. Yeah. I, I wonder if this is – there are a lot of things – we've talked about this before, even off mic, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. The idea that there are benign concepts that are ruined by people. There are a lot of things that if you look at it in a vacuum, mm-hmm. it's innocent. Like the impact as a font is fine. It's It's certainly a little striking, a little bold. But it's clean. Mm-hmm. It's visually pleasant for the most part. Yeah. Even if it's a little too strong sure. for, for, for use in everything. Strong, bold, visually pre- pleasant, but co-opted by the wrong people is impact the swastika of fonts. Yeah. That is, that is, it's true. I, <laughs> no, no, it's a, it's a very, very good yeah. point. But in talking about this here, is that enough? Is it the worst font? Or is it just the font used by the worst people? And Pretty is terrible. That, is, that a di- is that a separate – is that a distinction we should be making here? It may be because Comic Sans is often used by the most well-meaning people and Impact is often used by the most ill-meaning people. Mm. And because of that, I think that Impact is a as an inferior font to Comic Sans. I don't think it belongs in the discussion of worst fonts. It has been misused the way the swastika or the right. – the original symbol that it's flipped from right. uh, our base. So it's notable. Right. That is noted. I don't think it's a finalist. No, maybe not. Are there any other A-hole um, fonts? Was A-hole fonts just to discuss impact? No, I didn't even think of that until after. Oh, wow. Uh, the A-hole font that I was thinking of yeah. is Copperplate Gothic Logic. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a personal thing. I just hate that font. Let me take a look. It looks like the font that a fraternity would use. To be like, this one looks like it's carved in stone on like, oh yeah, a beer T-shirt. You know what it is? It's that's the uh, it's the font of eye tests. Is it? It looks very similar to me. It also looks like the font of a corporation that does hostile takeovers. <laughs> that's the note that's put on the uh, uh, attention. There is a company wide all hands yeah. meeting. Yeah. You know what's written in Comic Sans? Attention, company wide. There's cake in the break room. That's what's written in Comic Sans. Comic Sans is an earnest and sweet font. It can also be, though, don't forget to recycle. 
All right, it can a, be a little passive aggressive. That's, that's the passive aggressivity is what drives me nuts. I don't think there's an a-hole font to take. I would put impact in there then if there's not. If you can't think of another one, I mean, I I just don't think there's out of the even of the two of those, they don't feel like like impact. I you could put it in the finals. I would take it out immediately. All right, but if, for me, imp, it, impact is the I, I impact guess. that it has had is very negative, and it's, I used to use it constantly. Sure, it's oh, triggering. Um, on the sweet font front. I just want to give a shout out to a great sweet font. Sweet fonts. Brush script. I love me some brush script. Oh, sweet fonts. Brush sweet, script. sweet brush script. Designed in the uh, 40s mm-hmm. for uh, for uh, U.S. like war bond posters. Because mm-hmm. yeah. like to look cute in trying to sell you on war. Yeah. And it's designed to look like a script, which it does not. Like right. nobody writes like that. How do you feel about fonts that are supposed to look like handwriting? They have their place, but I'm not. I, Has you ever been? Fo- you ever been fooled by one though? No. All right. Like brush script didn't fool you. Like no. who wrote this? It's not like Frank Abagnale Jr. is designing these fonts. <laughs> I don't know. They're, they haven't fooled me. Our run sub is using uh. brush script on these checks. Knock knock. I can't believe you pulled that guy's name out that quickly. I had to think. Yeah, that was really good. I was trying. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. So our finalists are, you want to put impact in the finals? Yeah, you'll take it right out, but I want impact in the finals. I want it on the record that I'm not a fan of impact. Fair enough. Impact, Comic Sans, Papyrus. I would not even put Comic Sans. I'll put, only put Comic Sans on there because everyone else does. It's offensively bad to look at. It, it is, is no worse than Wingdings, and Wingdings is infinitely worse. It is a different kind of worse than Wingdings. Yeah. Wingdings is not a language that we need to use. Then why is it a font? I, the whole point of a font, Hal, is to express ideas through visually pleasing manifestations of language. Listen to me. Listen to me. What just... Put it aside for a second. All right. Well, nobody's eliminating it. All right. I'm merely arguing that Comic Sans, for for how ubiquitous it is mm-hmm. and how passive aggressively it can be used. See, I think you're seeing it more passive aggressively than I am because you work in an office. I don't see it a lot because we have a design team. And that's if they fair. saw Comic Sans, mm-hmm. they would burn everything. I it doesn't Comic Sans. Honestly, I know, I know, everybody wants it mm-hmm. to be. I am. I am the if, if in this particular twelve angry men. I am the juror coming in and stabbing that identical knife into the table. Spoiler alert: That's how twelve angry men ends. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's comics. I don't think Comic Sans is guilty. I think Wingdings did it, and I think Comic Sans is going to go to prison for it. What about Papyrus? Which seems like it almost seems like a charlatan font. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I'm selling my spiritual <laughs> like candles. Papyrus. Papyrus is pulled up to town in a wagon. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, it's like it pulled. Oh, Papyrus has just arrived in Passamaquoddy. Yeah. I, Did you hear? Doctor Papyrus <laughs> is here. <laughs> I come from a land far away, <laughs> spiritual and mystic. Now, like, how many times do you think the word Arabian has been written in Papyrus font? Whether it's oh. Arabian gala, Arabian dinner. Yeah. <laughs> too many times too many times yeah it's exactly that's exactly it or like yoga what do you think <laughs> yeah. what what word do you think has been written the most in, in in papyrus yeah um probably appetizers entrees and desserts probably it's a tie between those three <laughs> And here I was going to go with spiritual. <laughs> spiritual is pretty great. Uh, all right. We've been going for almost 40 minutes. I have some evidence I'd like to enter. Wait, okay. hold on. This, um, if it please the podcasters, right, let's see what, let's see what evidence Hal is. I have evidence to offer. <clears throat> In 1992, only days after the release of Windows 3.1, it was discovered that the character sequence NYC, a frequently used abbreviation of New York City, in Wingdings was rendered as a skull and crossbones symbol, star of David, and a thumbs up gesture. Ladies and gentlemen, Wingdings is the worst font. Is is it possible that it's anti-Semitic? NYC means kill the Jews in Wingdings? Yes. In fact, here, I'm not even going to say it, this was circulated 
after a somber date in our nation's history. Wow. In Wingdings. Now, look, they're all a – any let – let me say this. Mm-hmm. Absolutely any language anywhere in the world can mm-hmm. be used to spread and propagate hate. Right. When the characters in your language represent symbols mm-hmm. and then when you arrange them in certain sequences mm-hmm. and it creates hate messages, like there's no way to – there's like oh, – there's no other way to interpret this. This is terrible. Yeah. I don't care what those people say. Wingdings is the worst font. Yeah. Asked and answered people of the world. That's terrible. Right. I was going there just to be like, oh, maybe it was used in coding and something like that. No. This is some weird dog whistle crap. Yeah. And it must it's be the stopped. Q- it's the QAnon font. It must be stopped right now. Yeah. It must be eliminated from the world. Get rid of Wingdings, y'all. Yeah, this may be one where we're discussing the worst, but we're spreading a message of peace and love. Yeah. Peace and love, peace and love. Peace and love, peace and love. Thanks, Ringo. (laughs) Any wingding letters will be tossed. (laughs) Wingdings is the worst font. I did not expect that. By the way, nobody. You just did a, uh, you just did a movie reference to our friend's movie. (laughs) I did? Yeah. The, uh, the, that's the whole peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Uh, That that Ringo video that uh, that anyway yeah that showed up in uh, Eric's movie oh yeah in Hounds well, there you go um sorry I thought you were giving a I, I didn't I, I liked was... the idea I didn't I don't know how many people know that very famous now I guess famous Ringo video that was used in that mm. movie I thought you were just quoting a buddy's movie as in like you guys all get this movie reference right Hotel for Dogs too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I was I was directly quoting Ringo himself peace and bless was it peace and love peace and love he said peace and love he said I'm warning you with peace and love I'm very busy <laughs> like he's no more autographs I love it crazy especially I'm- for a guy who has oh no he has a song called Photograph not Autograph Autograph is uh no he does have a song called Autograph. Photograph is Nickelback. Photograph. Look at this photograph. No, uh, I Every think, time I do it makes me laugh. I think it's a that was originally a, a Def Leppard song, maybe? Was it? I don't think it was originally Nickelback. Anyway, that's a separate discussion. Wing- Def Leppard or Nickelback. Dings is the wor- Ding- Wingdings is the worst font because you can't understand what's being written. And when you do, it's terrifying. Yeah, and it's also uh, racist and mean and garbage. My goodness. It makes, so, it makes impact look like Comic Sans. Right? That's my Dennis Miller reference for this episode. <laughs> that's it. This topic has been settled. Yeah. For all time, there are so many more out there. That's right. So reach out to us on Twitter at We Got This Tweets. Check out the Maximum Fun subreddit or email us at We Got This Podcast at gmail.com or go to the Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash We Got This Podcast. Thank you to producer Ken Plume, researcher Kate McManus, graphic designer Uri Kelman, and QA engineer Jen Alba. And thanks as always to our musicians, Jonathan Dinerstein and Mike Furman, for our score and theme song, respectively. And thank you to you, our listeners. You know, if I could right now, I would write you all a note and tell you how much I appreciate you and thank you and love you all. And I would write that note in Comic Sans. No, you would. So you would know that I was earnest. For Hal Loveland, I'm Mark Agliardi. Mark Agliardi, I'm Hal Loveland. Don't worry, everybody. We We got got this. this. We got this. Maximumfun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.